everyone, Lau here and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, basically my channel is all about the things that I love and I'm pretty much a geek or whatever you would call it, like I'm a cosplayer, I love Disney, I love Star Wars, um, I do collect toys and other like, like fan or whatever, like merch. Um, and today um, I have a giant um, EMP <laughs> unboxing for you. Um, yeah, it, it, nothing is sponsored or anything. It's just like I'm like my channel is like this small, so of course not. Um, EMP is like probably you know it. It's an online um, retailer for all things like fandom based, like merch uh, from Disney to Harry Potter to Star Wars also like band merch a lot of uh, things and, and also clothing which is more around the like yeah gothic or or like independent uh, uh, side so um, I pretty much wanted to shop a little bit because like currently of course like no conventions are happening and, like God knows when they will be happening again. And one part uh, that I like, yeah, that I'm kind of into is like shopping at a convention, like Funko Pops and like mm, things that I love from the fandoms that I'm into, like Star Wars, whatever things like these. And I was like, huh, oh, I'm kind of pretty much saving up money because I'm not going to conventions and I also don't spend anything there. But I was like, okay, then I can maybe afford just buying things online right now to give me a little bit of like this fandom boost and um, I have to say these big online shops currently they're absolutely not delivering fast and that's kind of normal because their warehouses like they they, are, they don't have capacities because they are missing people and people um, are working under like very like like strange of course like conditions uh, they're working slower I'm also working for an online retailer um, not this one a very big fashion one um, and I know that also our warehouses are have very low capacity and all that stuff um, but with EMP like they like like make make advertisements like we are working da 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 and and their their delivery time was actually not as long as it really took so be aware when you like ordering for especially for the big retailers with big warehouses and stuff like that that it takes up a long time to arrive this package took now three and a half weeks to arrive and it came from Germany and I'm living in Germany so that's just it I ordered a lot of things from like private people like on, on eBay and those things like they shipped out very fast because like it's just one person going to the post office and then the post of course in Germany it is still working so just be aware but yeah uh, as you can see I'm wearing like a little bit of Disney things um, I wanted to just wear my new Little Mermaid ears there's nothing Little Mermaid in but it's a lot of Disney things in um, actually pretty much everything is Disney I think if you consider Star Wars also Disney um, uh, that's why I just wore like um, wanted to wear my new ears uh, they're from I bought them on eBay they're official parks ears and um, but nobody knows when the parks like Disney parks will reopen again so I don't know if, if I will have the chance to go to a Disney park this year or whenever it will be open whatever who knows so I want to have a chance to wear these ears at least in my videos um, and before we go into the package I want to show you like a project that I'm working on which has to do with ears um, you know I'm also making a lot of my own ears and um, pretty much all of them are like fabric but I'm working on something else it's not ready yet and I did not make a tutorial because I at first wanted to find out how it works if it works but these are basically my new um, rice crispy treat ears like these are not eatable or no, edible you can't eat them they are made of um, like air drying clay and uh, but I think they turned out pretty good <laughs> <laughs> like oops, here's my smaller one which was like my trial I love them 
and um, now I just have to figure out how to like put them here and put a bow in the middle and then I have my very own uh, Rice Krispie ears because Rice Krispie treats are like my favorite, one of my favorite Disney snacks. I made uh, Rice Krispie treats um, myself for uh, this Easter this year for the very first time. It turned out quite okay. Uh, I can insert a picture here. But anyway, let's just jump into the unboxing now. Okay, I see a lot of Funko Pops. Let me show you. This is how it looks. The majority of things in here is Funko Pops and I think just two other items of clothing. Let's see if I can remember what I bought. Um, da -da -da, what do I start with? Okay. Let's start with the things which kind of belong together because, not really belong together, but kind of because they're from the same movie. Oh my gosh, stuff is coming together. Yes. And uh, I ordered things for my Disney Funko Pop collection again. I have a small collection video up on the channel. I can link it down below in the description box. And um, I, will, I just pretty much have well, I pretty much have one Mulan Funko Pop and now I have more, like... I, oops! Mushu! Yay! I think I will um, open them up now, uh, or not now, but afterwards, and then always insert a small photo or um, like uh, where I show you them out of the box because that like, would probably take too long if I now open them all and everything. Um, but I'm pretty much a nut in box collector. I'm collecting like all the stuff that I'm collecting is out of the box. I don't like to have anything in the box. But here's Mushu. And Mulan was actually my favorite Disney movie for a very long time. Uh, it came out when I was still in elementary school, but I watched it like up until I don't know, I was. Well, or something, so or 13. I watched it so often that nowadays I really can't watch it very much because it's like, do, do you know that when you have, oops, when you did something, do you know that when you did something or ate something or whatever too often, then afterwards you can't eat or do that so like anymore? This is like with Mulan. I still love it. I love the theme. I love the like everything the characters but can't really watch it because it's like I know everything by heart and it's not it's not interesting to me to watch it so I'm also not so much into watching the live-action movies so let's see whenever this one then comes out later that year maybe um, if I'm interested in watching it or not but anyways Mushu And okay, this one is a big. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh my god! It was kind of expensive. You know, the bigger ones are kind of expensive. But oh my it is Mulan on her horse, on Khan. Ah, that's, that's beautiful. That's so great. It's also like, yeah, she's in her, like, the, the outfit that she's wearing at the end of the movie. So not the end, but at the showdown, you know. Um, wow. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oof! So these are the two Mulan ones. And I really have to figure out now my display because my um, Disney Funko Pop display is kind of small. And I really have to think about like how to display them properly. Okay, it continues. 
more Disney Funko Pops. Okay, this one I was really excited uh, to find out that it was even existing. I'm, I'm really not um, like uh, researching which Funko Pops are like released and, and stuff like that. So I'm always like surprised when I'm gonna see what's out there. And like I didn't know that they had a Hunchback of Notre Dame collection. And um, even if it's just a small one, I can see at the back they just have Quasimodo, Quasimodo and Esmeralda. So no Phoebus or no, no Frollo or whatever. But it's Esmeralda and I really loved that movie as a child. Again, one of my favorites because like I'm a 90s baby, of course. And um, I think I got this uh, movie on VHS for my 10th birthday. And um, yeah, I know it's actually a very dark, um, movie, the theme is very like serious and and um, but I kind of didn't realize it as a child. So I just loved it. Um, and it's I, I still love it. I definitely have to rewatch it now as I have Disney Plus uh, because this is one that I kind of never got on DVD or Blu-ray yet or because it was always pretty much very expensive. I don't know, but I definitely have to now rewatch it on Disney Plus and um, I'm very excited for my first Funko Pop from the Hatchback of Notre Dame. Okay, now I see something that's called a uh, villain. What was it? What did I get? Ah, oh, I didn't even remember ordering it. Yes, of course, because I also want to get a little bit more like villain uh, Funko Pops. I do not have many. Um, and like, ooh. ah, she's given that EMP exclusive. Oh, she's glittery. Oh, she looks good. It's Cruella. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Um, yes. Uh, again, uh, it's like, okay, I always say it was one of my favorite movies this time. But I love the 101 Dalmatians, although it is like older than, of course, it's not one that came out in the 90s. But I had it on, I definitely had it on VHS because in the 90s, all of the movies came out on VHS. And it was definitely one of my favorites. And Cruella is one of my favorite villains. Like, I mean, nobody beats uh, Maleficent, but um, Cruella is like, yeah, she's hilarious. I had, I never had the pleasure to meet her in the parks yet. I would really love to have a character meet with Cruella. Anyway, it's called ooh, Diamond Collection Special Edition EMP Pre-Release, EMP Pre-Release, whatever. Oh, she's glittery, but not all over glittery. That's what I like. I don't like when everything's just glittery. It's actually just coat. Anyways, I will get it out of the box and show you then. Um, oh, that's cool. I didn't even remember ordering it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Um, ah, that's so cool. So happy okay we're definitely doing that new display like today afterwards um okay yeah, i remember and um, i'm pretty much not a fan of cinderella i think i have said that on the channel already before i think everybody of my friends know that it's not cinderella herself oops it's more the general movie that i do not really like but I have a Cinderella Funko Pop and I wanted to have like a companion for her and my favorite part of the movie, which I still like because that part is like beautiful, so iconic, is the transformation scene and who's part of that? The Fairy Godmother. I really like the Fairy Godmother, I have to say. Like she's probably like my favorite part of the movie when, when she comes up. Like she's funny, she's great. This elderly, elderly lady who's just like such a like, I don't know, such a jerk. Um, really like that. 
Oh, it, ah, it's for the Cinderella 70 years uh, birthday. And in this collection, there's also like Cinderella in her, um, like the dress that the mice made for her. That's also a very nice one. Okay, I'm kind of getting a little bit more into Cinderella, but generally not the movie. <laughs> I don't like all the mice in the movie. The cat and the chasing and ah, it's too cartoony for like my for my uh, taste. This one looks it's, it's very simple. Okay, now should I continue with another Franco pop? Or should I keep in the theme of staying with Disney and afterwards? Yeah, I think I think um, because I see pretty much that the last like real Disney Disney item, is what's in here, is this. Now you're asking yourself, wait, isn't that a Christmas sweater? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm a huge Christmas person, like uh, you know, because. I did like a uh, Christmas, uh, Chris blah, blah, blah. I did um, like vlogmas last Christmas, like I I did it like every day and um, I didn't have enough Christmas sweaters, <laughs> I was always complaining and I didn't find any, like I, I found one like again, but um, like especially if it, when it comes to like Disney Christmas sweaters and stuff, they are always so expensive, like of course these ugly Christmas sweaters when they're well made and everything, they are worth of course more money but I'm like ah oh, I don't want to pay like 60 euro or more for a Christmas sweater I don't know um, now it's like long after Easter already and <laughs> they had some Christmas sweaters still up on EMP for very cheap like I think I, I um, got this for 15 euro and this is a Mickey Mouse one it is um, red dark blue and white don't have this color combination on Christmas sweaters yet okay I have it but it's darker it's a very dark uh, one that I have oh and it feels really nice it feels so warm I couldn't I probably now I could still wear it because sometimes it's really like um, cold still oh yes I love it it's like Mickey Mouse all over it not at the back the back is just plain what you seen they saved up money here yes. um, but uh, all the rest is like one big uh, silhouette of Mickey here, then uh, front silhouettes of Mickey, and like Mickey heads, like like hidden Mickeys, and the rest is like snowflakes and very typical. And it feels very nice. It feels like very soft. I hope it's not uh, peeling too much. Let me let me check what material it actually is. Well, it's actually just normal, like 100% polyacryl, which is okay then I don't have to be super worried about like if, if it would be like real wool then it's like oh the pilling and all that stuff and also um, this goes is also very pilling so I think polyacryl should be absolutely fine for a washing machine it's very soft um, what is it size S I think that fits perfectly yes can't wait for Christmas no actually I can't wait for summer can't wait for summer Sometimes it is now already like nice weather, like with like 20 degrees outside and sunny. Today it's a little bit like gloomy outside, not so nice. That's why I had to turn my light on <laughs> again. That's why I have this shadow behind me because the setting that I'm sitting in right now is not very good for like artificial light because I just can put it there and not there. <laughs> so that's why it comes from that direction. Anyways, so these were the Disney things. Okay, and the other things, it's just two things, are more or less slow themed and both of them are Mandalorian themed. And I have a Funko Pop and it's not Baby Yoda, I don't even know if uh, Baby Yoda is out, but I, would, I don't even know if I would get him. But pretty much the other character that I'm, that I'm totally into concerning uh, the Mandalorian is the armorer. I love her. Like her look is, oh my goodness, because I'm actually not so much into Mandalorian, so I, I would probably never do a Mandalorian cosplay, like normally, but if I had to do one, like the armorer, wow, because she looks like more 
more like medieval kind of she looks so wow she's so powerful and i would really like to know like who she is because there were rumors that um the armor could be um ursa ren or something like that because like ursa then appeared in the new clone wars episodes uh, i don't think that i mean everything's possible but i don't think that but yeah so she's for my star wars Funko pop collection which is actually like directly next to me you can see like there they are oh no that's not good yeah that's better Thing from this haul is a t-shirt and this is also my very first like anything of um, like no okay I'm lying I have a postcard of him but it is a Yoda or the child and I I wasn't like getting anything, I don't know, I really like it, it's so cute, but I wasn't into like getting a lot of merch of uh, the child. Um, but then I thought, okay, this t-shirt is pretty much, it was reduced, it had a reduced price of 12 or something euro, it was definitely like um, discounted. And it's a color that I do not have like at all, I don't have any dark green in my closet. and. This is cute. I think that's really a cute one. So it's like snack time. Baby Yoda eating the frog from the fourth episode. Um, yeah, I kind of like that combination with Baby Yoda and the frogs. Like I also painted that on my East. I also painted that on my um, uh, Easter egg, <laughs> as you can remember. Um, yes, and I like that the print is very vibrant. It is very like sticking out. It's not like a, I don't know like too dark or whatever on this dark t-shirt. It's really vibrant and I really like it. I think it would be probably not gonna medium size. Looks okay-ish, looks a little bit big. I can always alter that because I'm seeing stress. Um, yay! Fresh slime, so red. Whenever I'm putting it here, I'm getting like super red. Ooh. Anyways, that's actually it. Yay! Okay, I'm really excited. I now <laughs> finally have opened it after uh, this package being like three and a half weeks in the mail or in the warehouse or whatever, where, where it was stuck uh, or how long it took, whatever. And then it was sitting here for a week and now I finally filmed the video and now finally have all the stuff here. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope um, you enjoyed my little like Disney Star Wars haul from EMP and um, Please let me know which one of the items here was your favorite or do you have any of them or do you plan on like also increasing any of your Funko Pop collections because I was not focusing on anything concerning Funko Pops. I'm absolutely into, um, yeah, more into like My Little Pony collection but when I saw them at the website I was like okay they are very good, they are very good, I need to get them. Anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed a little bit and um, if you like what I'm doing here like all kinds of different panda things and whatever then maybe just subscribe to my channel um, because I'm trying to upload like at least once a week right now that's kind of my set schedule okay bye bye see you real soon and may the force be with you